Welcome to module number three, Searching PubMed. This is one of a series of instructional videos created for evidence-based practice in healthcare. Evidence-based practice is supported by the librarians at the Kellogg Health Sciences Library. If you need assistance with your literature searching, you can contact the Kellogg Library at kellogg.library at dal.ca. Let's start with the PICO question we showed you in the previous modules concerning adult females with chronic low back pain. As a reminder, the population is adult females with chronic low back pain. The intervention is tramadol with acetaminophen taken orally twice daily. The comparison is a placebo and the outcome is a reduction in pain scale scores. Now let's run this search in PubMed. PubMed is a database of more than 5,000 peer-reviewed biomedical journals published around the world. Coverage begins in the 1940s and new articles are added daily. PubMed contains both primary literature such as RCTs and cohort studies and secondary studies such as meta-analyses, systematic reviews and practice guidelines. There are different methods you can use to search PubMed comprehensively and for an in-depth look at those, you can check out the link to our other PubMed video in the description below. Let's begin our basic keyword search in PubMed. As we mentioned in Module 2, it's best to start your search with the disease and intervention concepts. So let's type the keywords low back pain, tramadol, and acetaminophen in the search bar provided and click on the search button. PubMed retrieves articles matching our search terms and shows them in the brief summary display. Articles are displayed differently depending on your display options. To see how PubMed has interpreted your search, you can view the search details by clicking Advanced under the search box, then the arrow under the Details column. Notice the word MESH in square brackets next to the term low back pain, tramadol, and acetaminophen. MESH stands for Medical Subject Headings, which PubMed uses to enhance the focus of your search. This screen also shows your search history. Notice that our search is number one here because so far we have only performed one search. To view the search results from the search that we just performed, click on the number of results, which will bring you back to the results screen. On the left side of the screen, you will see a set of filters which offer more options for narrowing your search. By clicking on the additional filters button, we have several more choices for limiting our search. We can limit by species, language, sex, and more. Back on the results screen, you will see the article type filter on the left of the screen. Let's limit the article type to meta-analysis by clicking the meta-analysis checkbox. This will give us the highest level of evidence for a therapy question. This time we get much fewer results than before. These meta-analyses are somewhat broader than our original topic. Let's check to see if there are any randomized control trials or RCTs that answer our specific question. Let's go back to our article types filter, and this time we'll click to limit to RCTs or meta-analyses by also clicking the checkbox beside randomized control trial. This time we get more article citations in our results. I've also chosen to set my display options to best match, but you could also try most recent to ensure you see the newest articles first. Looking through my list of RCTs or meta-analyses that are sorted by best match, citation number six titled, a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled, parallel group study to evaluate the efficacy and safety of the extended release tramadol hydrochloride slash acetaminophen fixed dose combination tablet for the treatment of chronic low back pain answers our question exactly. We can see from the title that this is a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled, parallel group study, a mark of a good paper if it holds up under critical appraisal. Let's click on the title to get more information. On this screen, the abstract gives us a lot more information about the study. You often get enough information in the abstract to determine how closely the study fits with the population, interventions, and outcomes you identified as being important in your initial question. To get the full text, click on the Get It at Dal button on the right side of the screen. You can also view related articles from the navigation menu on the right, which is often a useful way to find other articles on the same topic. You can also view the MeSH terms from this navigation menu 
to view other concepts that might be useful in your search. In Module 4, you will learn how to use the Clinical Queries page in PubMed, and as previously stated, if you would like to learn more about comprehensive searching techniques in PubMed, you can check out our other video in the description below. Thanks for watching! For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.